Really, I'm not. <sighs> There's just something Rex needs to know. Dad? Dad's alive! He's back! Well, we can't all be to the manor born. Speaking of which... Sorry about that. Master Jerry, <sighs> what happened? He was getting on my nerves. Killing Mr. Vickers is one way to solve the problem of anyone finding out if he is the true Buchanan son and you're the fraud, but I doubt it will solve the more immediate problem. Is... Uh, Mr. Buchanan, Miss Hannon are finished speaking with the hospital about young Cole. They're, they're on their way back here. I believe they intend to come into this very room this uh, moment. It's not like we wanted to leave town. Especially now Star needs her mom. But we were scared. I mean, it, we couldn't let Todd find out Star's pregnant. He would have killed us both. I was hoping this didn't mean what I thought it did. Does Mr. Manny know? Not the last time I saw him. But he will find out, and when he does... Hey, 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 wait, 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 where do you think you're going? I can't let him hurt Star more than he already has. Hey, excuse me. Uh, I don't know how to read this stuff. Can you translate this for me into English? Because I want to know everything about my daughter's condition. I'll be around if you have any other questions, uh, but I want both of you to know that Star and her baby are going to be fine. You, you must have made a mistake because my, my, my daughter's not pregnant. Mom. I'm sorry. I, I thought you knew. I'm, I'm in my third month. It's you, isn't it? Rex said he saw you. You did? Yeah. Remember Rex? Honey, are you okay? Who the hell is that guy? How? How? They told me you were dead. What can I say? Some of us are just hard to kill. I can see that you and your daughter need to talk. I just would feel better if I could talk to John about Cole. Well, the hospital said that Cole and Star are okay. I knew that's all they would tell me, because I wasn't the, a relative. I, I'm his legal guardian, for God's sake. You know where he is, and you know he's okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But you're going to be a basket case until John calls, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm sorry. That's all right. It's one of the many reasons I like you. <laughs> you do. <laughs> tell you what. What? Let's go in the living room. I'll make you a drink, all right? He appears to be breathing, which means he could come to it any moment. Yes, it'd blow our secret, which he was about to do before you told Nora about John Cole. Oh, dear Lord, what are we to do? Just head off, Clint Nora, and I will find a way to take care of theirs. Wait, come in. Mother told me you were dead. It's him? It really is? My mother lied to you. And she lied to me, too. When I got home, she told me you'd married somebody else. I'm sorry, Gigi. Sorry. What? What do you, what do you have to be sorry for? For believing my mother and not believing in you. We've missed so much time. What happened? I 
It doesn't matter. Not anymore. Man, it's not gonna hurt you or Star anymore. I have to see if she's okay. And the, and the baby, what if something happened to the baby? Okay, listen to me. You wait here, I'll go check. Okay? Fine. Fine, just tell me as soon as you know something. I know what you must think of me. I love you, sweetheart. I love you. I love you, too. So much. I should have known. I should have known. You know what? I felt it. I should have figured it out. I was lying to you. How could you? Baby. You must have been so scared when you found out. I just can't believe it. What did you tell me? I was scared. Were you scared of me? I was afraid that you would tell Dad. Those test results are confidential. See that name there, Star Manning? My name's Todd Manning, I'm her father. I have the right to know what's going on with her. So tell me about this sonogram. Why does she have a sonogram? Does she have internal injuries or what's she, uh, what's she got? No, that's not it at all. Excuse me. Shouldn't this be a file away somewhere? I'd like to speak to an administrator when you get a chance as well. Where Mr. Vickers is, uh... Then why wouldn't you let us in here? I just meant that I needed to tidy the room. Some things Mr. Vickers left behind. Oh, we got Britt Vickers. <laughs> it wasn't easy, though. He broke one of Ace's favorite decanters. Oh, well, that's a small price to pay. Uh, Paul, he thought Crystal was for sissies. Anyway. <laughs> I'm sure there's a mess on the Oh, no, I'll have the staff clean it up, madam. <laughs> there's, there's glass all over the place, so you're going to want to steer clear of this area. May I fix both of you a drink? Yeah, I think Nora could use one, but I should help Jared with a glass. No, all done. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. <sighs> Doesn't look like a whole decanter. Oh, well, we already got some of it, and, and, and like Nigel said, the staff can clean up the rest. Okay, well, you know what? David's gone. Thank God for that. I don't care how. I'm just I'm glad that he's gone. This is the last thing I needed to deal with on a day like this. Uh, perhaps you would prefer to retire for the evening. I could send a... Dinner up on track. Oh, no, thank you, Nigel. I'll, I'll be fine here. I just... I I'm going to call security to find out how Vickers got here in the first Why, place. Thank you. You want me to talk to the guy? No, not yet. Who is that guy? He's Shane's father. But maybe they could have their family reunion somewhere else and not at our wedding. I'll talk to Gigi. Maraska. You were going to tell me something. You said it was important. What is it? 